Greetings again. Welcome to Pinball Help. I wanted to give you all a look at what I replaced on this DMD board. This is the dot matrix display driver board for the Williams WPC games. And I rebuilt this power supply section. You can see from the reverse side there was obviously some heat damage there's a big resistor, power resistor, that, that apparently got hot. You can see it discolored the circuit board. And uh, on the reverse side you can see I think I did a pretty decent job of desoldering a good bit of these components without making it too messy. You have to be really careful when you're laying the soldering or desoldering iron down on these things because if you make it too hot it buckles uh, the, the coating on the boards. If you get a look, you can see. Now, some of this was done by heat from the natural components. And right here, you have a little tiny transistor. And you have to be really careful when you're soldering these things to make sure that they don't touch, you don't short out those pins. So, it came out kind of nice, I think. We'll be trying it in a little bit. So, in total, what I replaced on the board, I replaced these two electrolytic capacitors, I replaced these three high power resistors, I replaced these three high power transistors, and uh, this bank of resistors here. And what was interesting is when, is as I'm taking these components off, I'm hooking them up to the meter to check them. Two of these resistors uh, were blown apparently there was no there was no resistance at all measured on them so that leads me to believe that uh, obviously something went out it took a number of components when it did and I certainly found things that appeared to not work which is always a good sign you know you're 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 in the right area and uh, also then down here we have some resistors and some diodes and some more up in here and there's so there's two little smaller transistors down there I don't know if you can see them I'll we'll zoom in and this whole section a good bit of these components were desoldered off the board and replaced with newer components and it's it's very re rewarding when you can do this and I don't claim to be an electronics expert or even necessarily that good at soldering but if you have the right tools it makes it so much easier and I don't want to be an advertisement, but this right here, this Heiko 808 desoldering tool, just makes it so easy. You just, you basically just point, press the button, heats up, and it sucks the solder out. It's just so easy. And before I tried to do it with desoldering braid and a little desoldering sucker gun, and what would end up happening is I'd pull part of the traces off the board. It was very um, frustrating. The, the, these newer tools just work so well. And uh, speaking of new tools, uh, I got a new meter. I finally got rid of um, the crappy, cheap multimeters that I had been using, and I got a really nice brand name. This is a Fluke uh, 115. And uh, this is just one area you don't want to scrimp on. You want to get, you want to spend some good money on tools so that you know that you don't have to do things over and over because something failed that, that you thought was reliable. So there we have it. Our new board is ready to be tested. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. And uh, catch more at pinballhelp.com.